Hello, Ms. Treadway here, and I am going to walk you through how to do your proofs homework in Delta Math. So this is similar to how uh, Ms. Morris's notes went, but there is a little bit of a learning curve when it comes to putting these into Delta Math. So let's start with this first example here. I'm given that AC is perpendicular to BD, and that angle A is congruent to angle C. And you'll see in our diagram that those congruent angles are already labeled. And so when I look at my proof setup, um, I already start with step one. They did that for you with your given statements. And notice that when I hover my cursor over these two statements, it will highlight on the diagram where those are located. So starting with, um, excuse me, that AC is perpendicular to BD, I can confirm that... I apologize for that bell, but we're going to keep rolling here. So let's first, let's prove that BDA is a right angle. So remember, from this drop-down tab of statements, I wanted to show that it is a right angle, so I clicked on that. And you'll notice that in all of these drop-down menus, it all says X, Y, and Z. And our diagram doesn't say that. And the reason for that is once I click on it, it gives me a blank to fill in myself. So I'm going to say that BDA is a right angle, and the reason for that is because perpendicular lines form right angles. Okay, so I know that BDA is a right angle, and you'll see it labeled that for me on my diagram. So I need to do the same thing for angle BDC. So again, I'm going to select the right angle. I'll type in BDC, and my reason is the same, that perpendicular lines form right angles. So now that I have proven that these are both right angles, I can say that they are congruent. So I'm going to pick this angle congruency statement, and I'm going to type in BDA and BDC. And my reason is going to be that all right angles are congruent. Okay. So now the last thing that I'm going to need before I can state that these triangles are congruent is that BD, their shared side, is congruent to itself. So I'm going to pick this congruent segment statement, and I'm going to type in BD and BD. And the reason when something is congruent or equal to itself is always the reflexive property. All right, and notice that it also labeled this on my diagram for me. So now I have angle, angle, side, and angle, angle, side. And my last statement can be that these triangles are congruent, so... Triangle ABD is congruent to triangle CBD, and my reason is AAS, angle, angle, side. And once you are totally done, you will hit submit answer, and it will show you the green check mark if you did it correctly. All right, and I've got one more example here for us to work just so you can get the hang of it. So I'm given that segment AC is perpendicular to BD, and I'm told that DB bisects angle ABC. And then I want to prove that triangle ABD is congruent to triangle CBD. So again, they do the first step for you with your given statements. And again, if I put my cursor over these two things, it will highlight them on my diagram for me. So let's start with what we know about our perpendicular um, segments. So because they're perpendicular, I know that angle ADB and angle CDB are going to be right angles. So let's prove that. So I remember I need to type in, let's go with first with angle ADB. And the reason is because perpendicular lines form right angles. And I'm going to do the same thing for angle CDB. So now that I've proven that those are both right angles, I can say that they are congruent to each other. And that is because all right angles are congruent. So that took care of my first given. Now my second given is that DB bisects angle ABC. And we know that bisect means it splits it into two equal pieces. So we can say that angle ABD is congruent to angle CBD 
because an angle bisector divides an angle into two congruent angles. So it's labeled those, I have both of those angles. Um, I've proven them congruent and it's labeled it on my diagram. So the last thing I can talk about is this shared side, they have BD. Similar to example one, I can say that BD is congruent to itself because of the reflexive property. And I now have enough information to say that my two triangles are congruent by angle side angle. So I'm going to say that triangle ABD is congruent to triangle CBD by angle side angle ASA. So once I'm done, I will again hit submit and I get that green check mark, meaning that I have done this correctly.